with the finishing touch and I am here in an iris and we're going to start you in the foyer. So in an iris has a large foyer and we put a very thin table at the front door here. We can have a light on it so it's nice to have the light on at night so it looks like you're home. Starburst mirror, a few decorative pieces, not too much, but we can get a five by eight rug in here. So this is a five by eight. And the key to fitting it in is to have it at a nice angle. The door does open easily over the rug. So you want to be certain that whatever rug you get, the pile is not too high, okay? So this is a five by eight in an iris. And if you come just, I just want to show this one picture here. Here's the way in an iris foyer, it looks really nice. So you can do one large picture there, or you can do two, stack them on top of each other. Whatever you put on this wall has to be fairly light because it is a pocket door. So you gotta be careful how you hang things on your pocket doors. That's why we just try to do pictures that are fairly light over here. Okay, so moving on in. This is going to be a family photo wall, but the client does not have their family photos yet. Um, so we hung up pictures that look really cute, and they'll stay that way until they fill them, okay? Cute little shelves. All this just came from Target, so it's super easy to do. And then starfish from my store. So it turned out really cute, and then we bought a few extra frames for when they do decide to do the pictures. If they need more, they can grow the space, okay? Over here we have a teal buffet that was purchased, um, I believe at City Furniture. And we took the glass out and added in mirrors so that you can actually use this as storage. If you have clear glass in here, this looks really busy. So you have that taken out and you put the glass in, or the mirroring into the door, it looks really nice. Picture by Alan Malt, Sea of Dreams. A couple of just very simple, nice candlesticks. A piece of coral. Let's move over here into the Iris's dining room, but we did not do a dining room because they don't need one. So what we did is a desk, so that if they need, this is a desk that's more of a perch. If they want to sit down and use their computer, they have a space to do that, or if they just want to read, they have a space that they can do that. If they are on their iPad or their laptop over here, here's a nice bench underneath the mirror that somebody can look at what they're doing over here. Um, rug at an angle, we love this. This is sizal and a beautiful teal um, through it in a pattern, very pretty. And of course the arched mirror. Why the arched mirror? The arched mirror we use so often because it looks like a window once you put it in. Takes all the light from outside and reflects it back into the space. Above the desk, another beautiful picture by Alan Maltz. Uh, Clarity is the title of that one. <clears throat> Now let's move into the living room space. And how we do the iris in the living room is we are able to put a large entertainment unit in here. And we have, a, that's like a 55 inch TV. So a very big TV and a really nice, we keep it light. It is a white piece, so it's keeping it fairly light. So uh, it doesn't feel like it's imposing in upon you. And we flanked it with two chairs, so you have extra seating. We still got a side table and a lamp for over here. Now also, beautiful rug delineates the space, a strong, strong pop of color when you come in. We have a recliner <clears throat> that looks like a chair. So whoever wants to recline there can recline there. And then a nice leather couch that is a triple recliner. So you've got seating for one, two, three, four, five, six in here and you still have room if you want a small chair. Let's say if you're having a get together and you need to have more seating, this chair can be popped over here and you have another rounded out, another piece to, to round out the seating arrangement, okay? So you can really get a lot of seating into an iris if you think carefully about what you're doing. Okay, let's take a quick peek under the bar where we did our pretty wainscoting. That's gonna protect that bar from kicking. It's highly cleanable, and it's a very traditional look that's going to totally stand the test of time. So we got two cute little bar stools of perches. <clears throat> and then if the camera would swing around and just check out the pretty way we trimmed out the windows. The windows, we kept the verticals <clears throat> because we didn't wanna put money into more, another treatment. 
And then we, what we did is we trimmed out the window with large molding and we put a header over it. So it looks really nice. You don't have to have anything else on your windows. So that's an iris. Thanks for watching the video. And if you have any questions, let me know. This is Ruth Dyer with a finishing touch.